Now at 10. A tense couple days in Beaver Dam come to an explosive end. It's a small town, I mean, nothing like this ever really happens. But still no answers about who was building bombs inside this apartment complex. Investigators do know a man died while making those bombs. They still don't have him positively identified. That man left behind an apartment full of explosives and chemicals he was using to make even more bombs. His body was carefully removed from the scene last night. The next task, what to do with all of those bomb making chemicals. State, local, federal law enforcement all came together. They decided the safest plan was blowing them all up where they sat. Given the volatility of the materials, um, they were successful in detonating those materials and didn't have any secondary explosions. So we consider that a, a, a good achievement and a good outcome. Now with the threat from those explosives gone, some people forced from their homes Monday have finally been able to return. Tom Durian was there when some of those folks got back in their homes for the first time, Tom. Yeah, Steve and Shannon, some of them learned at that meeting across town tonight that they could come back here to their apartment complex. Many of them rushed across town here anxious to get back home. Carissa Crean is back inside her home for the first time since Monday. We can actually sleep in our beds. She and other Village Glen residents will come home to this, a giant hole in Building 109 just across the parking lot. Here's a look at the extensive damage our cameras caught this evening. There's a lot that we can't, that they couldn't tell us, obviously, because it's still under investigation, but we can go home. And that's really all you wanted to hear. That is all I wanted to hear. Those in the building where the explosion happened aren't as lucky. Our apartment's here, his apartment's over here on the opposite side in the back. Beth Ann and Reed will be spending another night in a hotel with their 11 month old daughter. This is all we have we bought, to our we... name right now. They'll likely need more room in their SUV to take more from their apartment whenever they get back in. They said pretty much the building might, it, depending on how bad it is, they might have to tear the whole building down at some point. I'm so happy everybody is safe. I'm grateful for the police department and the sheriff's department and everybody that works so hard. So the people that live in the building where that explosion happened, they should find out sometime tomorrow afternoon whether or not they can get back into their homes. They are waiting for a structural engineer to go through that apartment building. Reporting live in Beaver Dam tonight, Tom Durian, today's TMJ4. A lot of relief tonight, Tom, thank you.